Well, you can see a katana could actually- <laughs> Nope! Nope! Not getting mugged by you, Sonny Jimbo! Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, we are back, and today, I got a small goal in mind. I would love to accomplish it. What I want to do today is I want to head over to the winter biome. That's my goal, but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be using this stuff to do it. No fur armor, that's the goal. I want to go to the winter bomb and I want to show you guys how you are actually able to survive there without utilizing fur armor. However, I will be bringing it just in case of an emergency, you know, because uh, at the end of the day, I have a military backpack on me that I really do not want to lose. So if I start freezing to death, I do have it in case of emergency. But uh, we're going to be bringing the two goods that I know will be able to help you out in times of cold hardship. Strong alcohol, a new item introduced in the latest update. I've been picking it up a little bit uh, all over the place, actually. I've been getting it pretty much everywhere I've gone. It's, it hasn't been super... Oh, let me drink a little bit of that. Yeah, I've, I've been able to loot that pretty much everywhere. I don't know, but for the most part, I've only been looting oak groves and winter biomes, that type of stuff. So as a heads up, there's a chance you might only be able to find it in the new areas, but at the same time, you might be able to get it across the older areas as well. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Maybe you guys can help me out with some of that info. Let me know about the strong alcohol. But I do know something from you guys so far and from a little bit of my own research, and that is that strong alcohol. Uh, we can actually take a peek at that description really quickly, and we could see warms from the inside and helps to overcome sadness. So uh, <laughs> half of that is going to be very useful for us. The other half, listen, we're pretty positive here, so I don't think we need it to overcome no sadness. But who the hell knows? Let's go ahead and start heading our way over there. It is going to take... Wow, it's going to take a little bit more energy than I would want. We'll run over to the Oak Grove first, and I'll just use my gas to finish the drive there. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be fun. We're going to try to do this in our military outfit. We're going to see just how cold that it gets, and we're going to get to see this new cold mechanic and kind of this freezing to death mechanic in action something that we have not seen because as soon as we went to the winter biome we were kitted out in fur but maybe you guys don't want to grind for fur maybe you don't want to use your fur maybe you just want to have enough fur at the moment this is where these two other goodies strong alcohol and wood ought to come in handy i brought a good amount of melee weapons one gun and a couple of pickaxes because i'm not just doing this for uh science i'm also doing this because I want to get some copper because I've been running low. My furnace hasn't been smelting copper too much. So perfect opportunity for us and we're about to be going in. So wish me a little bit of luck. So to my knowledge, I might be wrong. If there's any more ways, please let me know in the comment section, okay? This is the two ways that I know of for sure that you're able to keep warm through the magic of wood heh, and also through the magic of strong alcohol. So we're going to be coming in here. We're landing. Okay. What's going on? Uh, we're still- we're feeling pretty nice. We're not freezing to death. It's a- it's a brisk day out here, you know, in the freezing pits of hell or wherever the hell we might be. I don't think hell would be freezing now that I think about it, but this is gonna be the first of our possible saviors. This thing- Woo! Stay away, numb zombie! Bad! I don't want you near me! Stay away! I will take that rope, though. That might be useful. But I'm gonna wait for this cold to start kicking in before we do anything. So while I continue doing that, it might be a good opportunity for me to... Ooh, there's a little bit of loot up there. We could try to get that, but it is surrounded by our adversaries. The very strong... Ooh, we got some copper over there. That copper is pretty well protected. All right, I think I got an idea. Uh, there was a guy kind of patrolling by. Actually, if we get a sneak attack on some of these guys, we might be able to do some pretty... Oh, no, another one. Oh, no, that's a big guy down there. I don't know how possible it is going to be for us to grab that, but there's a rabid wolf here. We can take him out and slowly start thinning the place out. And you guys can see it takes a little while before the uh, effect of coldness really kicks in, because so far we're doing pretty good, and I don't think it's from the presence of uh, our... There it is. Okay, we need to warm up. So that's what happens. After a certain while, your dude just kind of gets that notification where he's not freezing to death yet, but he's like, okay, something bad might happen if uh, I don't do anything about this. So I'm gonna sit around a little bit and I wanna show you guys what happens when you do get to, to that red tier, that red alert, DEFCON 5, or there we go. You can see we start freezing, we start losing health pretty quickly. Head over here, we can build a fire and the fire will slowly heat us up, which is very good. You can see that status effect starts to wear off and all is well in the world, right? But we gotta go and freeze our booty off a little bit more for a little bit more science. And, uh, uh, oh no. Let's use up this band-aid here. And this guy wandering about. I don't want to deal with him. 
I don't want to deal with you, frozen numb zombie. You're a meanie face. Okay, I've seen what you've done to my comrades. It is not good. Woo! Woo! How did he find me? I don't know how he found me, but he found me. I was trying to get a weapon to deal with this exact situation, but okay. Let's see if I can deal with you with just a katana. But I feel like, yeah, with how much he heals, I don't know if we could do this, dude. This is gonna be... I'll put it on auto. We might use up the rest of this katana. We might have to use up a good amount of band-aids, but... I'll be damned. These frozen guys, man, they are on the more powerful side. That is for sure. That healing, man. Freaking vampiric zombies. Like, get the hell out of here. I don't want to deal with van- No! No need to mine that, my friend. Stop mining. Stop. Stop. How do- How do I stop this? He, he- he- he would not stop. As soon as he starts, he's just like, I'm going to the end, boss. And I'm just like, no! Stop yourself! But you can see a katana could actually- <laughs> Nope! Nope! Not getting mugged by you, Sonny Jimbo! I'll come back with some more alcohol. Okay. If we're about to get mowed down by Mr. Mission Impossible over there, we might want to grab a gun. I, I was not expecting to get mowed down, but I wasn't expecting to walk out of here with a gun either, so allow me to look in my handy dandy inbox right quick. Ah, I think that will do nicely, don't you agree? I don't think he's expecting anything this, uh, over the top. Yeah, I mean, listen, we got the full military outfit, including the military backpack now, so that's a full outfit. For reals. I love that we got this one for pretty much free, dude. That base raid, absolutely awesome if you know how to do the secret part. If you guys haven't watched that video on it yet, I recommend you do it. But okay, we gotta deal with this guy here. But let me know in the comments section what you guys think of this so far. What you think of actually being able to survive in the winter biome. How you think the, like, how long it takes to get cold is. Do you think it's fair? Not fair? Get the hell out of here, Winston! I don't like your sh- Oh god, dude, I ran out- I ran out of band-aids. That could have been really bad. This guy has SWAT? I'll be damned. He had a little bit of fur and an AK. Freaking insurgent over here. Okay, I might take this opportunity to actually grab myself a- Not the first aid kits. I was feeling more along the lines of some bandages. Yeah. Needed a couple of those. I don't like using first aid kits unless it's for something special. Looking at you, big one. Still a monumentous feat that we took that guy out. Oh, dude, what if- Oh, do you guys know about that? Is that a thing? Oh god, I'm freezing. Okay, strong alcohol, go! Okay, I'm gonna piss my pants now instead. So, it's kind of like beer, where it lets us instantly <laughs> do the deed, right? It makes you instantly want to pee, but we are totally- look at that. We are fine. Strong alcohol just warms you right up. You're ready to go. You do have to pee, though, so be very careful when you do finish that because it will lead to uh, instant bad things, and you will lead to some instant fur, and I like fur. Fur's good. Fur is very good. I could eat your raw meat, too. Why the hell not? As weird as that might be, I could do it. All right, and we got another fox over here. Take you out, buddy, and this frozen bloater. He's got it. Oh, I didn't expect him to be right there. I thought I was shooting at a different one. This is not what Papa Star wanted. Now what Papa Star wanted, we're shocking rain when you need him! I don't like it. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice! Little gold watch on you, did you there, laddie? Alright, I'll take it off your hands if you insist. I meant to deal with this guy. I need to warm up a little bit. Well, good thing for you. I got some strong alcohol. This guy I could deal with pretty normally. It's no longer a frozen bloater. Oh, but this isn't what- this isn't the place I was looking for. It doesn't have the copper. Oh, okay. I'll pick that up. I don't- I don't need cloth. I got plenty of that. Numb zombie! Die! Haha. <laughs> I just love seeing their bodies flop about whenever you finish them off. Alright. We'll see what's there. We'll head over to get the copper. But we only have so much time. You can see the strong alcohol does keep you toasty for a respectable amount of time. And, uh, none of that. I'll take a band-aid. I'll actually use that band-aid, so I don't know why I grabbed that in my inventory. Definitely the rubber parts. Without a doubt, no way I'm leaving those behind. Everything else otherwise... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need. I got a good amount of those back at home. I know it's not good practice to leave them behind, but today I had a goal in mind, and that goal did sacrifice four entire inventory slots because I want to try this place without uh, the necessities, you know? So let's deal with you over here, buddy. Yeah, dealing with you, and uh, we ought to be able to mine what Papa Star. Damn it, our inventory's full. All right, goodbye to you. Don't need you. I know there's some room in our chopper, but... I'm, right now, we're trying to be a little conscious on time. Trying to not let time get the best of us. Hello, Foxy. There you go. You're done. I'll come pick you up in a second. Oh, your friend's wandering over like, oh no! 
Jimmy died! What happened? And then I mow him down just as hard. Alright, back to what I was saying about the comment of the day, right? What I'd like to hear from you guys is what do you- Ah, Jesus! Yeah, so when you're freezing, you can't do anything. But luckily, strong alcohol cures that. And you don't always have to pee right after consuming it, so that's always good. And Another fox, dude! Stop trying to investigate your friend's deaths! They're dead! And that's it! Period! No comma. They're donezo. That's a lot of tape. I might have to sacrifice something for that tape. I got a good amount of zombie blades, so I ain't worried about that, but... Oh god, don't tell me. Okay, I thought he up there may have caught a whiff of me. That would have been no bueno to the maximum, but okay. Now we should be able to do that little trick that I showed you guys earlier to direct us in the right path of where the next copper is. Next time I freeze, I might try to come to this fire, though. Oh, actually, there's a little little thing we could loot up here. I'll go for that, but let me know. Woo! All right, he's dead. I panicked. Let me know what you guys think of the winter effects and the freezing effects, and I think it's actually, like, more than fair the way that you have to deal with it, you know? I don't think it's super unreasonable that there's a certain item you can have to deal with it, or you can work towards armor that deals with it. I actually really, really like this system. You know, it's like, I know a lot of people were not, like, a good amount of people were upset with the update and stuff, but for what it is and what it did add, I really feel like this system in general, and especially that they could flesh it out going forward, this could be a really cool system implemented into other things as well. You know, like, maybe having a heat stroke if you go to the desert, something like that, and having to cool off with, like, lemonade, like a strawberry lemonade iced tea or some jazz like that, you know? I don't know. But I think it does lead for a lot of cool opportunities. Why are you going up here? What? Oh, to collect wood? Why are you going up there? I don't know. Oh, there's some cop- Oh, two copper nodes! Cheeky little buggers you are there! <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this place. We broke a tool. Aw, oh, that sucks. Uh, let me know what you think of this kind of winter mechanic, using strong alcohol, this new item to suppress it, being able to use campfires if you just bring a little bit of extra wood, or you could even chop down wood, you know, in between the time that you're freezing. I think there's a lot of cool systems of doing it, and I'm pretty stoked with it, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. And keep in mind, commenting... Oh, hold on. I can actually... Hold on. I should split this up so my guy goes back to doing only what he can do. So there should be some stuff somewhere over here. He's got to warm up. This is our last alcohol, man. All right, you're running me dry. I want to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Lucky. Why do they call you Lucky? You ain't lucky today, Sonny Jim Bob. Why are you attacking me, buddy? Come on. Come on. I'll take that off your hands, though. Don't worry. All right, now, uh, back on the topic. This guy's running somewhere over here, so that means somewhere around here, there should be that which we seek. Hopefully, we can stay warm enough for this long enough, but okay. But, uh, yeah, commenting that will enter you, or put you a third of the way into being entered into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do is make sure to like the video. This is a hell of a death trap we're in, by the way. Uh, make sure that you like the video and are subscribed as well. And you can actually enter into every Last Day on Earth video that's been happening ever since last uh, Saturday. So this past Saturday to uh, Friday, and then I will announce the winners on Friday. This is actually insane how many zombies that there are. Please don't aggro me. Okay, we're doing pretty okay, all things considered. God damn, dude, they got this place on lock, though. I want enough time to get- oh, there it is. It's down here in the lower corner. I took a good- I took a good route to this. Let me know that in the comment section, then make sure to like and subscribe as well. That'll enter you into- that'll give you an entry into this week's giveaway. Winner's announced on Saturday. I'll pick a random Last Day on Earth video from last Saturday to this Friday. We're getting out of there because I'm about to freeze. Don't have anything to keep me warm besides fires, but I like strong alcohol better. But you guys can see, we just managed an entire winter biome run with like pretty much five hard alcohol. Like, it's- it's not at all shabby, and I think- I want to see if you're freezing, and you step out, and you step back in, will that actually reset your freezometer? Is that a word? Freezometer? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll pick a random video from last Saturday to this Friday, announce the winners on Saturday, or I'll, then I'll pick a random comment from that video. Dude, I'm all over the place. Yeah, so I am, uh, freezing right away. That kind of does suck. I'll pick a random video from the past week. You guys can enter on every video. Like I said, just make sure to comment and like on those videos and make sure you're subscribed throughout all of it and be subscribed. Potentially even hitting that notification bell so you know when a new video goes up like right away. We'll let you guys know when new videos go up, which is potentially entries for you guys. And for the purposes of this video, I will run over here to speed things up a little bit. Right? But uh, yeah, pick a random video, 
Pick a random comment. If that comment is liked and subbed, you'll be announced on Saturday, and it'll be awesome. I don't know, and I want to say a huge thank you again to you guys for 400,000 subscribers. Something I'm hoping to do moving forward, maybe even double up on the giveaway. Pick two winners every week, two twenty-five dollars happening every week. It might be possible, and if it is possible, I will make it popsicle, and I'll make sure that you guys reap the benefits of it. You know what I'm saying, dude? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't know what I'm saying, but I hope that you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You know? You know, bro? Yeah? Yeah? No? No, I don't. I don't know. I'm not hearing any answers from you. you gotta talk. Uh, Talk through your monitor, talk through this YouTube video, transcend space and time, invent a time machine that teleports to my current location and tell me, Star, we know. If any of you guys could do that, listen, I'd be impressed and potentially hire you. Oh, look at that, uh, for some Back to the Future shenanigans. Who the hell would know? Not talking specifics here. Okay, specifics will be for a later time and date. Oh, holy bananas. I had to burp. I just had some bananas earlier. No clue why the hell I said holy bananas. <laughs> But you can see we're gonna be walking back here with just enough copper to get our process going. You guys can see how the base is going. I can show you guys a little bit of an update into our inventory. Oh no, we got that going there. Well, luckily, I don't think this furnace is firing on any cylinders, so I can toss that into there. We'll grab a little bit of charcoal because this stuff is rather on the lengthy side to make. You can see the charcoal business is quite booming. I'm doing really good, all things considered there. Uh, what I usually like to do do you guys know exactly how long the charcoal takes? That could be another entry into your contest if you want. Let me, or into, as a comment. That could be your comment of the day if you want. Um, let me know, like, do you guys know how long one coal burns for? Like, I think it's around three or four minutes. But I'm not 100% sure. Because then I could start being a little bit more exact. Because if I knew that, like, one coal burned for, like, ten minutes, right? Then I could be like, oh, copper is going to be an hour. That should be six coal ore. I know this is some very advanced mathematics. I apologize for possibly exploding your brains. But other than that, right now it's just a whole ton of guesstimating. But you know what's my favorite thing that I believe that I have accomplished? And I think you guys might like quite a bit as well. A, all these planks that we're getting. Planks are amazing. Oh, oh look at that. Another oak plank as well. Yeah, none of my none of my items have been despawning. Like people have been saying supposedly that's a thing. I've been trying to keep an eye out. I... Everything's still here whenever I come back to it, so I think that might just be like an urban legend or something. Who the hell knows? Anyways, back on to topic. We can toss that back into there. I'll put the oak plank where that belongs. But mainly, these planks, man. If you guys aren't making them, if you got free wood and you need fuel, listen, I'm telling you right now, make planks. After you make the planks, you're going to head over here. Do not make charcoal through wood. Make it through planks. And then use that charcoal to continue burning your planks. It's just, you're going full circle, you know? But it's a damn good circle to keep on going around. Because you guys can see, it's pretty much like, you only ever have to worry about putting one stack of planks in here. And then occasionally moving the coal over from the out into, like, right there. But, like, overall, it pays off. Because you only have to worry about one stack of wood at a time. It does have, like, a little bit of a higher startup. You do need to kind of toss in a couple of, uh, you, you do need to toss in some initial fuel before you get the first batch of charcoal. But then you just put that charcoal straight back in the bottom, funnel it back in, and just continuously cook everything every once in a while. Re-up on that, you know, toss some more in after you're done cooking, and things are going to be looking good. Good looking, cooking, chicken, make a durkin. Hinga dinga durgan? I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Happy Leaf Erickson Day, a hinga dinga durgan. Is that, is that how that goes? I don't know. You're asking the wrong dude here if you came here for science and, and facts. I, okay, I, I do last day on earth and, and, um, and, and guns. Yeah, no, no science need, actually no guns would, ha they have quite a bit of, I just shoot the guns. I don't invent, actually, I mean, I could technically, I, very, very technically speaking, I think I could actually invent a gun. I've invented a zip gun before. I can now craft a Glock 17. Actually, no, I don't think I can. I think you need to do gunpowder first. Is that craftable already? I don't think so. Unless I'm mistaken. That's steel, though. Refined steel swarf using melting fern. No way I'm using 20 steel on a Glock. All right, Kafir, right now, I'm telling you. That's not happening. I am sorry, my dudes, but... <laughs> no. No. Not senor. Oh. We could craft a fishing rod. I wonder. I wonder, that might be something I want to do going forward. I wonder if crafting it unlocks the harbor for us. 
That'd be pretty cool, because technically the harbor's like... You can't go there. Like, it exists on the map. You guys know what I'm talking about, but... You can't actually go there, and it's kind of annoying, because I really do want to go there, and I kind of do want... Uh, show you guys a bit of an update here. Way more gas masks. I'm gonna have to start using those. Here, we got plenty of M16s. They, gor they are M16s. Yeah, M16s. A gorgeous and majestic weapon. Only some of the best. We got pistols and whatnot here. I'll actually go ahead and start tossing a couple of ours back in there. And uh, the garbage chest, where I just kind of put our lowest quality stuff. So when we finish the weapon crate, or not weapon crate, the weapon bench, we can toss all of these in there, turn them back into weapon parts. Unfortunately, you can't use modded weapons. You can't break down modded weapons at the moment, so I don't know what the deal with that is. But, oh, you know what else we gotta do? We gotta put away some fur, because we got that new fur beanie, dude. We got the Ushanka. Isn't that, isn't that what it's called? I'd know, because I had one of these hats throughout high school, all right? They are comfy, by the... That is not a beanie! Bro! Bro! I am offended as an Eastern European. You calling that a beanie? I'm, I'm like, holding this phone up to my face. I see no beanie. That is an Ushanka. What shenanigans is that? Oh my god. Comrades, Popeye. Popeye star. Popa star. Whatever you want to call. Right now, so offended became Eastern European. That's how offended. Motherland DNA took over. I don't know what is going on, but it is wrong. Papa star does not like the shenanigans. And uh, I'm going to be flustered for the rest of the day. I don't know. I just don't know what to do with life right now. Oh my god, how could they call that a beanie? I... Ay, Dios mio. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta... I gotta... I, the pantalones gotta come off, man. There's just too much information being thrown at me right now. The pantaloons gotta go. I gotta let some of this information flow out. I gotta let it get out of my skin. Uh, evaporate through the skin. Who the hell knows? I don't even know what's going on at this point. I'm just gonna toss the rest of this stuff. I'll go ahead and do the uh, fun thing known as organizing a little bit later, as I always do. Usually I just have a couple of these garbage chests, uh, quote-unquote garbage chests that I throw stuff into. But why don't we upgrade our pantalones, the pantalones a little bit. And uh, why don't we head on over to another place, see if there's anything fun going on. I think, that, I think that'll be a fun, action-packed, and family-friendly adventure. Don't you agree with me? I think that you do. I think that you do, dude. I oh, when you are letting me know about the winter buy and what you think about the freezing cold effect too, can we just take a second to appreciate like? Oh, airdrop! You know I'm going to that. That's got a chance of having uh, engine parts. I like engine parts, for real. If you guys are looking for engine parts, if you didn't see it in my last video, these things can drop them now. You see an airdrop, you can make it in time. Go for it. No point in not. If there's a chance at an engine, dude. That's awesome. You know what else I really hope happens? I don't know if you guys agree with me on this. I'm seriously hoping that, like, Kafir does up and, like, up the chopper parts a little bit. I really do want it to be a little bit easier to get for everybody, because I know a lot of you guys are struggling. And I really hope that yesterday's video was able to help some of you guys out with that. But either way, I hope Kafir does kind of address it in-game. And it, it is supposed to be, like, it's not- the chopper is not supposed to be the easiest thing in the world to get, you know? It is still supposed to be a challenge. The game's supposed to have that progression and that triumph where it's like, I finally got a chopper! Let's go to the northern biome! You know? So it's still supposed to- they don't want to make it, like, insanely easy to get. And that's where I kind of, like, give them a little bit of leeway. You know, they're trying to find just that right spot where it's hard enough, but not ridiculously hard. And, you know, they keep on tweaking it. Lately, anytime they've tweaked the chopper, they've only made it, at least in the dev notes that they've told us, they've only made it easier to find, so that's encouraging news. They've supposedly been upping the drop rates and stuff. I love when I actually like, go through Reddit sometimes, the last day on Earth Reddit, and, you know, nothing makes me happier than seeing people getting their gas tanks. Honestly, dude, it puts a smile on my face because... It's just an awesome feeling knowing that those people are feeling so accomplished. That's why, as always, man, not only am I wishing you the most fantastic day in the world, the most amazing day in the world, but I'm wishing you guys just absolutely the best of luck when it comes to getting your chopper parts because you know that I want you guys to experience this. You guys have been watching my videos. You know, if you don't have these chopper parts, you've been watching my videos, checking them out, and that, that means a whole ton to me, and I want you guys to eventually be able to use all this knowledge that we share, that we spread. Not just me, all right? I might, I might like control the channel, but listen, you guys made the channel. There's no channel without all of you, all right? Don't you ever forget that. That's why, A, I'm eternally grateful 
400k still can't believe that but uh b that's what i love about the channel you know we spur that discussion it's not just like me making videos and you guys leaving you know pointless comments like i love reading your guys's comments when i wake up you know it's just awesome especially the memes Never forget the memes. But it's just awesome being able to wake up, see the crazy amount of support, and also see you guys helping each other in the comment section, you know? It's not just like, I don't know how to put it, a pantalones are coming on. I don't know how to put it in like a good way in words, I guess, but it's just kind of cool to know that my videos, not just the video content helps out, but you guys, the community, helping each other out. You guys help me out. I help you guys out. You guys help each other out. I help myself out by... I don't know how I help myself out. Mainly you guys are helping me here, but at the end of the day, I think it leads to the greatest YouTube series in the world when it comes to Last Day on Earth. And that's what I love about every series that I try to do, you know? I seriously just try to incorporate you guys as much as possible because that's what makes YouTube YouTube, you know? It's not, I'd like, I could, I could just play Last Day on Earth any day. But incorporating you guys, showing stuff off to you guys, getting feedback from you guys and doing all that jazz, it's amazing. It seriously is. And I might head over to the bunker. Uh, I might start walking over to the bunker here. I do have some business to take care of there. Or I might save the energy and instead, yeah, it's going to take a little bit for my energy to recharge. So I want to make sure that I am home when my furnaces go out so I could restock them. But another really good thing about using charcoal is that it lasts super long. And if something lasts super long, that means you have to check less on it. So that's why, like, just having a full stack of charcoal whenever you're cooking anything that takes a while is always a fantastic idea. But yeah, just thank you to you guys for making this series so amazing. Pat yourselves on the... Right now! Right now! Do it! Pat yourself on the back. If you don't, I'll know. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. See, you see this saw blade mace and this katana? Those are actually my eyes. I am looking at you. Do you look, look at me! I am the captain now! I am the captain! Pat yourself on the back! I'm the captain now. Okay? <laughs> I wish I had a face cam, so I'm actually doing, like, the hand signal that goes along with it. I don't know what I'm doing it to. I'm doing it to my computer. My computer monitor is very intimidated by me right now. I think I could tell my monitor to do something, and it would do it right now. But I won't! I'm a nice guy. Not gonna force anyone to do nothing like that. And also, another thing that I'd love for you guys to check out if you can. I've been playing a ton of this, like, Battle Royale game mode. In Fortnite Battle Royale. That is 100% free on everything. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. It's not on mobile, unfortunately, but on all the consoles and stuff, it's free. I've been playing it. You guys might want to check it out. Might want to use my videos to hopefully maybe get you guys better, but that game has been awesome, and I'd love if you guys would check it out because I've been playing a whole ton, and to be able, you know, if I'm able to upcord uh, up that, <laughs> upload and record in the same word, if I'm able to record and upload that and it's something you guys like, I'd love to do that, especially some of my best games. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say how far I got on this game that I posted. It's called like Epic Scar. We got a pretty good weapon. Spoiler alert, but it uh got pretty far. Got pretty far. That's all I'm gonna say. Watch the video if you want to know the rest of that. But other than that, I think that about does wrap up our last day on Earth shenanigans. We used up all of our strong alcohol, so I will have to start stockpiling that again. But I'm very happy. That's why I didn't want to do a video on it right away. I wanted to get a good amount of strong alcohol before we did anything. Uh, so I could just, you know, use a good amount of it and really show off how much you could do with, like, a solid amount of it. And also show off the campfires, how those work. And I think I did an okay job with those. But like I said, if there's any information that I got wrong, anything that I missed, please correct me in the comment section. And keep in mind, if you are leaving any sort of comment down below you're already a third of the way to the giveaway hit that like button on the video make sure you subscribe tune back in you can enter every day on every new last day on earth video since saturday to friday you can even go back and enter in older ones if this is your first one and uh yeah winners will be announced on saturday more information then but other than that i'm hoping you guys have yourselves nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic monday in the world or whatever day you're watching this on it's monday i know it drags back to school back to work but hey You'll get through it, because I believe in you. I do. You, you right there, watching this video. The person that this guy's looking at, do, do you see? Bearded man looking at you. I believe in you. You got this. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap up for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. This was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.